Well, the countdown to tax day has begun. Hopefully you know that already, but the pressure is really on for those of us who still haven't filed our taxes quite yet. Luckily, That's right. help us here. We have financial professional David Strzeski from Sound Planning Group. You have a quiz and tips for last minute filers? Yes, ma'am. It's going to be fun. So <laughs> folks at home, you can play along. There's no wrong answers. Well, there actually are, but we'll, <laughs> we got the answers for you here, too. I'm ready. All I'm right. Ready. All right. So number one, what documents do we need to get ready to be able to prepare our taxes? Uh, a W-2. Yes. A piece of paper. <laughs> and a calculator. Yeah, well, there's some of that. That's right. All right. Uh, W-2, uh, any 1099s that, that we would have, or your uh, 1095, which is actually your health care, saying that you've had credible oh. coverage throughout the year. So those are the three that we need to get ready. Okay. Uh, for those of you who are just trying to hand the shoebox into the accountant right now, guess what? They're going to be delaying you uh, until after the 15th, okay? So the good news is we can delay up to six months if you're not ready okay. to file by tomorrow. Uh, but if you owe money, there's going to be a fine. Oh. So there we go. So that's Great. number one. Okay. Number two. Two, true false you will get your refund faster if you file online false no it's actually true what yeah you get it uh, uh, much faster when you file online of course ec electronic funds transfer just going right into your bank account is instant as opposed to having it snail mailed and showing up in your mailbox at some point in time well, no so. offense to the government but my thought was it's the government they'll find a way to delay it no matter <laughs> what right but I guess not yeah well in this case that would be the right answer so number three what is the most important thing to get right on your taxes is it a your social security number b your bank account and routing number or c your math your math because it encom it encompasses all of it it's actually all of the above so this is sort of a trick what? question so sorry about that yeah so here's the deal the social security number incorrectly being put together mm -hmm. is the number one issue with people filing their taxes oh, so no. take some time here make sure you get your social security right otherwise you didn't file your taxes this year so it doesn't count doesn't count. Oh no! And it's 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 very difficult to undo. Number two, the 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 bank account routing number. If you give the wrong information to this, and they send the payment out, there's literally no protocol within the IRS to get your money back. That money is gone forever. So make sure that you get your right information in there. Yeah, uh, and then your math. Really important to get your math right. So just take the time to go through the calculator, adds it up. But if you fat finger something as an example, oh, boy, and yeah. you put an eight and a nine in there, we're supposed to be a seven, then yeah. everything's going to be off. So all the above. Okay. All right, number four, true or false? There are no last minute retirement doc, uh, deductions that you can take. False. That's correct. Uh, oh, I got it right? That's right. Oh, phew, finally. We can make last year's uh, <laughs> contributions to 401ks or IRA accounts all the way up until April 15th. Now, you got to get them in before midnight and really earlier than that so they can actually post, uh, but, uh, but we're able to make contributions into there. Uh, number five, how do you get a bigger refund? Oh, I want to know the answer to this. Oh, gosh. Multiple a, choice. Okay. make more money, which okay. is always a good idea. Yeah. Uh, B, check your withholdings, or C, cross your fingers or put your head in the sand. Cross your fingers. Yeah, right. It's a check your withholding. <laughs> okay. So with the passing of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, uh, most people didn't sit down and, and look at their W-4, which is how much money gets withheld each pay period, right? And so then we can we can kind of get the right balance and make sure that we've got the right amount of money going in versus going out. We were talking beforehand, though. We don't want to give Uncle Sam too much money. No. Uh, the last part on this is uh, is to make sure that uh, uh, when when you're looking at this, there are seven major changes that happen in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Oh my gosh. For those that are interested, go to our website, which is myretirement.tips. And at the website, uh, you can download a copy of my book, the seven major changes, as well as the seven tax advantage strategies that we need to be taking advantage of today in order to take advantage of the opportunities in front of us right now. So hopefully that was a fun little David, quiz here. thank you. I actually feel a lot better. <laughs> I don't feel so dumb anymore. <laughs> now I know what to do next time, too. Uh, you're awesome. All Jason. right. Thank you so much. All right.